And funnily enough, Juno and I are exactly that. I don't think Keely or Rebecca have ever had another female in their lives that is so polar opposite, but so utterly completes them. Yeah. Unwittingly. It's rather beautiful how it kind of uh, dribbles into existence. Um, I particularly loved the scene where they're um, on Rebecca's sofa and and Keely kicks off her shoes. And at first you see Rebecca kind of looking at her like, oh, God, make yourself at home. <laughs> and by the end of it, because Rebecca has shared about herself and Keely has responded by saying, well, God, if I looked like that, I wouldn't hide under a bushel. There is a there is a moment in that where Rebecca realizes that Keely is a warts and all person. You know when she puts the cactus down, and says a bit like you. <laughs> and, I, and I remember thinking that is brilliant because Rebecca will never have had, I don't think, a woman in her life, certainly of a different generation, which they most definitely are, being absolutely just warts and all with her yeah. and loving her anyway. And she finds a new confidant, I think, in that very scene. And funnily enough, Juno and I are exactly that. You know, she's in her early 30s. I'm in my mid 40s. Yeah, straight away, it was literally like, clunk, done. And you you guys had never worked together before? Had never, never met? Together, never spoken to each other, never set eyes on each other ever. And what was your first meeting like? She went, hi. And I went, <laughs> hi. Honestly, and that was... it was that simple. <laughs>